What is Gucci fam? This is Jay. Um, what happened to White Boy M? What happened to I Show Speed's copycat? What happened to that guy? The exact same thing I said in my previous video about him happened. I knew that as soon as he reached the, the goal he was trying to get to, he was going to stop copying Speed and he was going to start being himself. Because he realized that being himself wasn't working. So he had to be somebody else in order to gain some of the clout from the massive audience that Speed has accumulated over such a short period of time. So, um, as soon as he reached 100,000 subscribers, White Boy, God darn it, what is wrong with this camera? As soon as he reached 100,000 subscribers, he, um, he deleted most of the videos he did that were about speed. And now he's just trying to grow his own personal brand. And he's ignoring all of the people who are pointing out that he doesn't act like speed anymore. So I saw this video pop up. And I want to hear the same thing I'm talking about here from a, a different perspective. Um, with somebody who's been so vested that they would actually put out an eight minute long video about it. So they're probably going to have a lot of receipts. This should be really good. Three, two, one. Why are you doing this? Where are his parents? This is like scary. This is like really scary for him. I don't think he should be doing this. White Boy M, the ISO speed copycat that was once. Shoot, he made some good money copying speed though. Remember, when it comes to social media, good attention or bad attention, it's good attention. But here's a message for everybody that comes across this video. You can only be a first class you and a second class somebody else. So you might as well be yourself. Because God don't make junk. And you're not junk. You're not trash. You're just as special as anybody else. You just have to figure out what your path is. Of the most hated and viral sensations on the internet. His mannerisms, his catchphrases. Are you serious right now, bro? His content, his voice. But who is this copycat, chat? And even his facial expressions. Anything that I show speed did, White Boy M did. And while many outed him for this strange behavior and brushed it off as short lived popularity, Emerson secretly had a plan to prove every single critic wrong. So, what? Here's the real money right here, folks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the real money right there. You dive in the, the right kind of these, you're gonna get you some money. What actually happened? And did White Boy M eventually fall off like everyone expected? Well, it's time to find out. The story begins in 2019, when a young Emerson started uploading various vlogs about his summer. He swam in pools, did mukbangs, and challenged his friends. However, after uploading his first day of school video, he started taking content creation more seriously and began pursuing his dream of going viral. At the time, public interviews were extremely popular, so White Boy M started doing them. Alright, today's question is, if you was in a 6'9's position, would you snitch or would you stay silent? Stay silent. And despite him not seeing any success with this, he did finally start understanding the concept of following trends, and tried his luck with Omegle videos and eventually Fortnite as well. The last decision turned out to be his favorite, as he now turned into your typical cracked Fortnite montage kid called Bluffin, and he tried to grind his way into various community teams to get recognized. He got some support here and there, but nothing that really put him in the spotlight. So, he tried becoming a designer, attempted to get the attention of- See, that's the thing. When it comes to like YouTube or anything like that, you got to figure out what your thing is. This is why I put up multiple, 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 multiple different videos because I have to figure out what my thing is. So whatever people cling to, you know, that's your thing until you amass a big enough audience to where you can just, you know, do whatever. But until you get to that point, you got to follow trends.
Aiden Ross, continued uploading Fortnite videos, streamed on Twitch, and even sold masks during the pandemic. Emerson did anything to get his money up and achieve his goals, yes, but the journey of an aspiring creator is tough, as he faced various issues with his mental health and considered quitting plenty of times, until he had an epiphany. Luffin finally realized how he could grab the attention of the internet, and that was by following in the footsteps of his idol, Aiden Ross. He started posting videos on Twitter where he suddenly became very vocal and energetic. I'm actually at it, bro. I don't know why you guys are saying that people can be Elsie in a 1v1, bro. And when he combined this with tagging massive Fortnite players in the community and showing off his dance moves, momentum finally started picking up. Pixel and Day shared a video of Bluffin to face Sway who retweeted it, and this gave him the boost that he desperately wanted. However, he was hungry for more, and aspired to grow bigger than the community that he was in. Emerson noticed that changing his personality into the most liked content creator at the time was highly effective for his growth. And when he first discovered I Show Speed and took a liking to his hilarious persona, he kept this in the back of his mind. You see? Of course he did. I was watching I Show Speed. I didn't know who I Show Speed was till he got to like maybe 150,000 subs. I mean, he ex he exploded in a he went like over millions of subscribers in a single year from less than a million. It's ridiculous, man. He started getting recognized and support from some of the biggest Fortnite players in the scene, but then suddenly disappeared at the end of 2021, explaining in an update video that he had to delete a lot of his videos as he got suspended for filming inappropriate content on his school's campus, and that he now had to come up with a new content plan. This plan consisted out of his regular uploads at first, and things were actually going well, yet it wasn't the fame that he always wanted. So he came up with the most genius plan to blow up, and to everyone's surprise it actually ended up working. Bluffin had now officially rebranded to White Boy M, and the strategy of copying personalities of famous streamers got taken to a whole new level. I mean, we already knew that Emerson became a big fan of Aisha Speed over the year of 2021, and his dedication to consuming his content allowed him to pull off the biggest stunt that he had ever done, becoming Aisha Speed himself. He started copying his voice, his mannerisms, and his facial expression. It was really cringy. It was really cringy. I'm glad he stopped doing that. Resulting in TikTok calling him out for it, and it grabbing the attention of one of his idols. However, this was only the beginning, as he took this opportunity and ran with it, making a diss track on Aisha's speed that went completely viral with over 3 million views. It was genius, as it immediately caught the interest of Aiden Ross and Aisha's speed himself. I bet he made some good money off of that attention too. But they weren't impressed and Speed didn't enjoy it whatsoever, which ultimately set the tone for M's reputation. The thing is, a fun innocent copycat like this could be the internet's biggest hero when Speed and other creators found it funny and appreciated the humor behind it. Yet, this wasn't the case when everyone took his trolling way too soon. It was funny how, um, how far he took it though. No matter how tested he was by other creators, and no matter how much they tried to call him out for it, he just, he stuck to his guns. He stuck with his character of white boy M acting like speed. So it was, it was just really cringy to me how like, no matter what happened, he stuck to it until, I remember, I said that. I, I'm not going to go and clip it, but in that other video you saw me do of white boy M, I said, Watch, when he reaches 100,000 or whatever his goal is, he's going to stop doing this, and he did. Curious, with Kai Sinat criticizing his content. I don't think, like, now, bro, the way you acting right now, I don't think it's going to go far for you and the rest of the internet clowning on him. This resulted in not only a wave of attention and him hitting 50,000 subscribers, but also a ton of hate from fans of these streamers and other critics. Yet, it didn't stop his impact on the community, as his are you serious right now catchphrase became a true phenomenon in internet culture. In fact, White Boy M appreciated all the attention, positive or negative, as it was all part of his plan of blowing up. And it wasn't long before he got 100,000 subscribers yep. on YouTube and his silver play button. 
Because of this, Patrick CC noticed the trajectory that this teenager was on and came out with a video calling him the most embarrassing ISO speed copycat. Which got over 2.4 million views yes, it as it fed into the hate and bad reputation that Whiteboy M already had. And in this video he downplayed his success by claiming in the title that this was his 11 minutes of fame, labeling him as an average Aiden Ross viewer and ending the video with a speech about how he didn't grind for years like you're supposed to as a creator and that his career will come crashing down as a result of his quick I have grinded for years. A lot of y'all think I'm fairly new. I've been on YouTube for seven years. It's a grind. And don't let anybody tell you anything different. Um, it takes a while for you to figure out what your thing is. It takes a while to develop a personality. Um, not everybody can be an overnight success. If somebody is an overnight success, it's because they had people already in a high position to help them get to their position quicker but if you got to figure it out by yourself it takes a couple years it's to fame this documentary same with any kind of business or whatever you're tr when you're trying to build something up it takes time you know resulted in a lot of you got to put your hours in reactions agreeing with everything that he said but also made people realize that he's just incredibly good at trolling and not harming anyone so was this reaction by all of these big creators really necessary was it really that serious and would the copying eventually become his downfall Well, Kaisenet and Patrick had a point. White Boy M couldn't do this forever. Attention and trends on social media don't last a lifetime. And yep. when you pair your relevancy to the relevancy of another streamer, you're playing a dangerous game. But what everyone seemed to miss is that Emerson was smarter than he looked. This was his strategy from the beginning, from when he first started seeing momentum with attention grabbing Twitter videos. And he has nowadays switched to his own personality again after the peak of his fame. White Boy M streams currently feature his regular their voice and mannerisms. Mm -hmm. see the new camera though? Like y'all can see my whole room, bro. He has a loyal fan base on YouTube that watches his vlogs. He see there? And people say subscribers aren't important. They are important. If you want to be a YouTuber, just know that regardless of what kind of content you put out there, somebody somewhere will watch. Gains thousands of subscribers somewhere. Even if you change content and you decide to do something different, sometimes they still stick around. But you don't know until you try with anything. Every month, I say TikTok with more than 2 million followers on which he gets crazy views with his dance moves and maintains an active Instagram with more than 150,000 followers. In fact, the hate seems to have faded and not many people recognize him as the ISO speed clone anymore, with only a few mentioning it and others shutting this hate down quickly. Also, he is making stupendous amounts of money from the audience he built up, with him flexing stacks of cash almost every week and having an iced out chain at a Cartier watch that are worth tens of thousands of dollars and him promoting various companies on his social media all at only that's what's up he's living his dream i'm not i can't hate on white boy m i'm glad he's doing what he loves to do that's what everybody should strive to do everybody should strive to do something that they love if you don't love what you're doing right now try to figure out a way to get off the hamster wheel get off the couch get out of your community and you know, break down walls, cross borders, um, do something, you know, ch change something. Because if you always do what you've always done, you'll always have what you've always had. Until you change something and um, cross the boundaries or strip, what, however they word it, break boundaries, you'll always be where you've always hated to be. 16 years if i'm making sense old now of course in buying these depreciating assets resulted in a lot of criticism as well with some even claiming that he was going to lose all of his money but the man is only a teenager and clearly knows what it means to stay relevant even calling out those that doubted the long-term success of his career and making them look foolish white boy m showed everyone that he simply just used iso speed as a stepping stone to show off his real talents as he's appreciated a lot for his dancing skills on tiktok his fashion sense on instagram and his entertaining vlogs on youtube I mean, he even went on a school tour where kids were literally screaming for him. And him making the day of... That's what's up. 
That's nice. Many children during this event. So, is White Boy M really this embarrassing, pathetic Aisha Speed copycat so. that ruined the art of content creation? I don't think so. In fact, I think that a harmless troll who found a success by impressively copying one of the biggest streamers and making people laugh successfully executed a brilliant plan, and that the hate surrounding him got blown hugely out of yep. proportion. He obviously never cared about the hate, and still doesn't to this day. So I'm curious to see how White Boy M will develop as a creator and how the rest of his career. Same, I might even go subscribe to him. That's an it's, that's an inspiring story, somewhat. Unfold. Finding out if the haters eventually get proven right, or that this young vlogger with a sense for virality and an unmatched determination keeps doing the impossible. I guess only time will tell. I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's much appreciated. Thanks. And watch, when he reaches a million subscribers, everybody, most people are going to completely forget that he copied our show speed, and they're going to be like, whoa. Where did this guy come from? Wow. That's how it usually goes. A lot of people don't see the work you put in. And that's okay. Ugh. Most people just see the success. I had one more thing I wanted to say. But I got derailed. I forgot what I wanted to say. Mmm. Oh yeah, if you just like push past hate and not care what other people think, um, you can go far anywhere and in anything. A lot of people let other people's opinions dictate their future. And if you just like stay true to yourself, stay true to what you love, stay true to your passion, and keep doing it no matter what, and keep, you know, developing yourself getting better skills or getting better at whatever your craft is you'll always um you know you'll you'll always see progression in some kind of way at least that's what i think from my personal experience you know everybody's entitled to their own opinion and based off what i've seen and what i've done that's that's my opinion but if you guys hung out with me this long, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a good day. I'll see you.